All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a item, enemy, door, music, NPC, uh, voice, randomizer. But the newest thing is the door, and that's the best part, by the way. You'll see. You'll see very quickly. Watch. All right, so we're going into Kendo's gun shop. Here we go. Kendo's gun shop, baby. So just to explain really quick. Thank you, Routes, for the resub. So... This randomizer is split into segments, so we're gonna- we may see some rooms more than once, and, um, you'll see. It- it's this whole ride that you have gotta go on here. This is not good. Good enough, though. Thank you, Miku. Let me turn the game down. What do we got here? What? the mansion with another RE character. Who is it and why? It's Barry in the off chance that a zombie rips his clothes off. Okay, we got the blue key card. Let's reset this room. Thank you, Gabe. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Thank you, Gweepard. More liquors? Come on! Well, I did put it on hard mode. Or, like... I made the rando extra hard. disc already. Okay, wait. Shoo! Shoo! Oh my god, this one- this one's actually really hard. Oh my god. Maybe this door will be unlocked and we'll go fight the last boss? No. 
Um, no, but I can, Orca. I didn't make this one really long, so. Well, this is good. This is actually like the best room you could find. Hell yeah. Okay, Erka. Oh, shit. Wait, he's... And spiders, what? Hey, that spider fucked me up. The spiders are being OP. Case was apparently closed. What? Dude, nice fucking positioning. Guys coming in for the dodge. What is with this dog? game has better graphics on Pokemon. I actually looked up how Pokemon runs on emulator on PC and it's weird. It's actually like weird how well it runs. So now everyone is free to blame the Switch. But at the same time, it's crazy how unoptimal they made it for the Switch. I don't understand. I did finish Pokemon, by the way, but for me, fellas, unfortunately, for people that hate Pokemon, the game starts at the end. So I'm not even close to being done, but... So, well, there is like a new game plus thing that's like refight all the gym leaders and they're all much harder and then get a new final boss, which is what I'm currently... Okay, so... Oh, man, we need the freaking... Eh, whatever. Let's just risk it. If I die, I die. We just have too much ammo for this thing. Oh, this is good. It's good. Uh, because there was this over here. There we are. Yo, chaos. All right, this is good. This is good. Yeah, did I like the ending? Yeah, it was cool. I mean, I d d can't tell you a single character's name, but...
I'm not meaning to cheat here, guys. It's just happening. For those who don't know, in RE2, if you tap like this, if you tap the machine gun ever so slightly, you shoot out invisible bullets that don't actually eat your ammo. Well, it's not. A, well, technically, it's a glitch, not cheating. But I, it's I can't, I can't shoot a bullet at a time. No, this is not a randomizer. This is my first playthrough of Resident Evil 2. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Where are you going, Ada? This is creepy. My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. No clue, Poggers. I, the only things I know about the franchise are where the lobby door and remake takes you. And sometimes that's not even correct. <laughs> Jesus, dude. You good? Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. Just go. Okay, okay. Claire. Claire. Wait, wait. Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? They risked their lives to reveal the truth. But no one believed them. Who... who are you? Wait a second. What are you gonna do? Where are you going? About two months ago, there was this incident <laughs> involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Uh... Okay. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. I have no inventory space to fit anything. I, I need a bank bed. Yikes, I need that and... Okay, we're gonna need to go check what he drops. You must be the new guy. <laughs> Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled about two months ago. There was this incident <laughs> involving zombies. Two months ago. Located in the outskirts of this city. Alright. Let's just waste them now. Because we're going to need to come back in this room. Yeah, can you die already? Mm. 
Where, what? Whoa! Okay. He's zombie Marvin now. I can't go this way. Oh, wait, that's probably why it takes me here. Um. So this, the reason I stuck around, I was like, oh shit, I was like sort of freaking out, is this pierces. So that's one good thing about the submachine gun in this game. It, it pierces, it is piercing rounds basically. For some enemies, for Mr. X in particular. Oh. Save room. Dude, this rando is fucking nuts. Save room. Well. Okay, wait, wait, is the manhole even closed? It is. Uh, well, we have the manhole opener, have. It's back further, but. Hmm. All right, so flamethrower, jam in that room. We need the manhole opener, which I think is right there. Thank you, Pixel. Thank you, Storius. All right, come on, Marvin. Do -do -do -do. And this is blue. All right, so save room. Okay, so that's there. We need to remember that. That's there, that's there. And then this is... I can't remember what this is. Okay, we don't need to ever come here again. Hey, Cross. Alright, so... This one. Yeah, the, I think the save room is like one room away. What? Why are you back? Everything's back. This is enough to take a few of them on. I don't know if this will hit him at a midair. We're about to find out though. Okay. More liquors. This is a good vantage point though.
Okay, we're finally back. Let's just save it. I was. Screw it. Yeah, Frankles. Yeah, this is a great save room. Is that Mr. B guy? Yo, based on air. Yo, Sakura. So, yo, Bob's. Yeah, sorry. While I'm while I'm playing this rando, it takes so much focus to make sure I don't get like perma lost because. Remembering our OG RE2 is hard enough, but now every single solitary room going to a completely different room is a lot to take in. Alright, so we're going to use the unicorn metal. And then we can check this room right beside us, but there's so much we can do on the other side of the game. Or... You know, far away, I should say. Oh, we got to see this cutscene. What's wrong? Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. Holy William shit. William Birkin. Ada! Oh, no, that's Annette. I didn't hear her. Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? We're leaving William. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. All right. Um, the, the racing one B guy? Yeah, I, I thought it was awesome. Like, the game sucks, but it's like Pokemon. The game sucks, but it was so much fun. You know what's crazy, guys? I've been reading online a lot uh, yesterday after my stream. A lot of people have the exact same opinion of Pokemon as me, where they'll, they admit the game is terrible, but it's super fun. Like, Pokemon is a shitty game, the newest one. It's very badly made, very low quality. But man, is it fun. I don't know why. No, well, I do know why. It's because of the Pokemon. But... Apologizing for what? Gluten free? Pet battles and WoW are dog shit. Uh oh. Can you still hear me? Come on, answer. About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures. Why does it think it's Marvin? In a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Please be Leon. Oh my god. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Claire! I'm here! Tony Kennedy. Uh. Claire, my stomach. My stomach hurts. <sighs> Uh, 
Let me go! Who... who are you? <laughs> That's a lie. Uh-oh, called out. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Ben. Ben. Just go. <laughs> Chris, Jill, Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? Ben. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors. <laughs> the, the repeats. So, this is what everyone's been dying for. About two months ago, there was this incident <laughs> involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. <sighs> Those are my favorite jokes. The ones that aren't funny the first time, but get repeated a thousand times. <clears throat> Just drill it in your head until but it's I really funny. Don't have anything. It's the truth. How did that cutscene work so well? <sighs> All right, Yole. Okay, we definitely got to put some of these up. They're so so good. All right, so now we go back this way. Yo, girls. Dude, if Kendo gets... If Kendo appears for a cut, a long cutscene, it's gonna be so funny. He's respawned again. So the voice randomizer in this randomizer in particular, are only randomize it from the pool of their own voices. So if, if the character speaks and it's Ada, it's Ada for the whole cutscene. Unless something weird happens, which is... Wait, I need the gem. Oh, we can also go unlock that... ...test. Still here, Marvin? No, he's gone. Wait. Actually, let the flamethrower is right there, and the red gem is down this way. Let's go get the red gem. And then we can go take the red gem back and we could be done with that area entirely. Unless there's a key item in the chest all the way back at the start of the game. It's open now for some ungodly reason. Let's just check what's down here, I guess. Okay. Okay. So. <sighs> Alright, so that's the- that is the way to the next segment. As far as I know. Maybe? I don't know if all randos work like that, though. I'm not sure. 
Oh, that, that'll actually give us a shortcut to the bottom floor, to the chest. That's perfect. So, flamethrower? But, wait, wait. Let's check what this is first. I can't remember exactly where the red gem is. It must be in here. It is in here. There it is. And then on his body was nothing. It was handgun bullet. Then this we picked up. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now we go back. We put in the gem. Then we go back, back. We go to the lobby. We, we put in the gem. If there's nothing good in the gem slot, then we go get the flamethrower. Go back to the top of the lobby. Lower the ladder. Run forward. Empty the box. Go back. Go to the clock tower. Put the stuff in. It's easy. <sighs> I'm gonna save it. I turned ink ribbons off, so I'm just gonna save with the debug menu. Thank you, Mythic Legend. Yo, Kiddith. Okay. So, whatever we get in here... That's fine. We'll just use that, and then we'll, uh... Go get the flamethrower, deposit in the bank. No, the ladder's actually consistent. It will take us to where we want to go. Yo, Vixen. Hope you're doing well. This rando is nuts. Like, like the door rando is fucking crazy. It's uh, it's actually really fun. I think I like this more than the remake door rando. But probably just because it's new. And when the remake door rando came out, I religiously played that shit. I, I played nothing but the door rando for like a week straight. Like that was my stream. You'd come in for eight hours a day, every day for a week, and it was just door randos. I mean, if you go back on my YouTube channel during that period of time, there's this like old wall of, of, of rando uploads. Okay. Everything that can be randomized is randomized. The only thing that isn't randomized in this whole game, two, two things that aren't randomized that could be, I guess. Which is sound effects, which would be horrible, like every single step you take would be a different sound effect, which would be an awful experience. And then the character you are when you go into a room. So, I, technically you could change the character, like, okay, now you're Chris, and then you go through another door, and then you're, you're Kendo, and then you're Irons. But, oh, not this one. He had Mar- it was- Marvin was in Kendo's shop, and he had Marvin's voice. So this should take me to the lobby, at least it did in the other randos. It does still act as a shortcut, which is actually awesome. Every single step is a kendo sound. You probably couldn't even take five seconds of that. I can demonstrate. Yeah, good luck listening to the, like an hour or two hours straight of that. I mean, I could, yeah, but listen, hey. Doesn't matter. Oh, nice. Thank you, Commando. Yeah, that was a really fun run.
You know what, just take a bite. Sick. getting scared we gotta go back we gotta go back i i already i can progress oh shit non-boss I actually did an enemy tier list with every single enemy in the entire franchise spoiler alert there's like 200 of them maybe I'll redo all those tier lists before RE4 remake comes out Oh, we're packing heat now. Thank you, Spectral Joker. Honestly, we can use the, the pistol instead. I suppose we can take it. Yo, hot potato. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Hopefully, we can, hopefully me and Wolf can finish that mod next week or something. Yo, Ollie. We'll take the key card.
Uh oh. Another one. ammo for days this time. I could turn the ammo down. You could turn everything down. But I'm not ready to do the ultimate rando yet of maximum everything. Oh hey, good luck. It's random to a degree. Here, I could show you guys what the screen looks like. When you're creating a randomizer, this is what mine looks like. This is what I made. Prepare for bad loot later. I'm gonna be honest, I can beat the- no matter what enemies are up ahead, we can probably beat the game with what I have now. Um... My background is strange. This is what the rando looks like when you're creating it. And this is my seed too. Oh, a new update is available. It says it right there. That's cool. Um, so this is what I, this is my exact seed. So I chose two segments. Uh, segment size, medium, difficulty, maximum hard, ammo, health, and ammo average quant quantity, all on high, increment on zero. Um, these. <gasps> Number of segments stands for, um, like when you reach certain points in a randomizer, like points of no return or points of, uh, doesn't, you don't need to go back. Like for example, segment one in a Resident Evil 3 rando is from the start of the game until you leave the city. Cause from that point forward, you can't go back. And even if you could, there's no reason. There's not a single key item back there. So in this game, Certain rooms are like segments and it's pretty easy to tell when you get to a new one for the most part because it's a like you'll need a key item like I think my second segment started when I went down the clock tower shoot because that is in the actual base game that's like a point of no return or it's not a point of no return but um it's like the last thing you do to progress in the RPD station in the Leon A speedrun um so it's like that. So now we know we're on the second segment. We don't have, I don't, I believe we don't have to go all the way back to the RPD station ever again in this particular rando. You know what I mean? Um, so if you put on all four segments, segment size on all four are on high, it's like you're doing four randomizers back to back, but all in one, almost like that. Wait, I do have the club key. Or maybe I got rid of it. Awesome intel. I will try it out after this one. If we saw, like, and I'm not mad if we saw a or anything. Okay, so it does, so see, there's a, there is a hint that you're on a new segment. I have the club key, and the club key doesn't unlock the club key door. Therefore, it, you're probably safe to assume you're in a new segment, and there's another club key somewhere in this segment. Do you understand? 
Anyway, if all this is confusing to you, just do one segment. <laughs> just don't do what I'm doing. I'm only doing, I'm only making the rando how I made it because I know this game inside and freaking out. I know where every item is on the American version, every item is on the Japanese version, and every item is on all four scenarios across the two versions. So eight different versions with eight different possibilities of where an item can spawn and what item it can be. If you don't know all those things, it's probably best to just do single segment. Doo -doo. And then you'll warm yourself up to the game the more you do, and then you can bump it up and up and up. Let's see what's up here. Okay, just wait. These are both terrible ways. Yeah, I've never ran the PAL version because it's really slow. PAL version in this game, like the European version, I think it runs at like 23 FPS or something, right? It's almost like you're running in slow motion. I used to like show it to my stream all the time back when I ran RE2, like like in 2016. Um, I would show it on stream and be like, look at this. Like you literally run slower. Actually, like go search it up. In RE2 for Europe, you run, you literally run slower. It looks like slow motion. Don't know why, I can't remember the reason. I'm not razzing Europeans either. I mean, I can show you guys, one sec. Let's see. Resident Evil 2 PAL version full walkthrough. I have to look up the speed run. Everyone's walking. Unless I'm crazy, am I crazy? Maybe the timer just goes slower and you don't run in slow motion. Pretty sure you do though. Oh no, is there no category for PAL? There used to be. Filters. There is no PAL. Got taken off the leaderboard probably like 50 years ago. European standards, 50 hertz screen, refresh. Okay, so it's running at lower FPS. I can't find one. I did find one, but it's not loading. I'm just sitting. I'll check back. Ah. Am I actually a fucking idiot and you don't run slower? I do know that the timer is vastly slower. Whew. I know every time I play Resident Evil 3, there's I always get so many comments on Twitch 
and a lot on YouTube where people are like, why'd you speed up the game? Or what mod is this? Because Regina's, or, or sorry, Jill is running so fast. Regina. Sorry, I play as Regina so much in RE3. Oof. Thank you, Not Albert. Thank you, Spectral Joker. Thank you, Zarni. Nice. We just happen to have this great key card with us. Oh, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. So wait, we need to, we need, okay. This is a soft lock thing. We need to enter that room or it might be actually fine with Leon. Maybe it won't be with Claire. But this is just a soft lock thing we, le we learned yesterday. So we need to... Um, What was it? Was it 401? Oh, it's Claire B only? Okay, okay. Excuse me. Come on, Leon. Thank you, Mr. Duke. Go, Rossi. It worked! Kendo! Ah, he didn't talk. What are you doing? Nintendo's idle animation does not work too well in this game. Please be Kendo. Worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other room. He's back. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. Hey. Still alive. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. Don't die on me, Ada. <laughs> Chris and the other stars members discovered that umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own thank you lives, young tom cruise but no one believed them thank you not cabal Guys, ghost walking over. It's trash. Someone wants to search the desk. It's trash. Someone wants to search the desk. It's trash. Someone wants to search the desk. It's trash. It's trash. 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 That's what I just ate.
Thank you, Sleepy. Sleepy Sobble, that is. Eat healing. On Leon. Ladies? I see you. Look at him pretending. He is terrified of Leon S. Kennedy, so he's pretending to be dead. You're not fooling anyone, buddy. Zombies. Guys, if anyone complains about being realistic in an RE game, and then they praise RE2. Remember, in Resident Evil 2, zombies pretend to be dead. Oh, I'm not hungry. Like, do you know how smart... I don't... I don't know the answer to this question, but I assume you have to be pretty fucking smart to pretend to be dead when there's prey around. Standing still is one thing, but laying on the ground pretending to be lifeless is another. Yeah, their head also turns. And they are pretending to be dead too, because if you shoot them once, then they activate. They're like, all right, I'm going to get him. He knows, he knows. Busted, busted, I'll go. You got me. W W. Thank you, Ghost Pirate. All right. What? Can I use that zero? Dude! Oh, I don't have it. I am major confused right now. I don't know where the fuck I am anymore. Let's try and use the zero one. What does it break the game? Hey, hey! Did it just... Oh, okay. It just... I thought it ate my actual ones. I'll just take it, whatever. Where are we going to be? Garbage. Two plus, I thought it was like 2 plus 0 equals 0. I was like, what? <laughs> I know, Skull, I know. We actually calculated my time in Resident Evil. Someone clipped it. I think my whole time in the whole franchise is around 5,000, like 500 hours or something. In the whole entire franchise, including like Revelations, Reverse, RE1, 2, and 3, yada, yada, yada. 
which isn't even half my playtime in Warcraft. Isn't it 7,700? I don't know. Someone's got a clip. I can look it up. It was this month, was it not? Bok Basu. Wait. Wait, I wonder if it made it to Google. How many hours does Bok Basu in Resident Evil? Did the clip make it to Twitch? It didn't. We didn't. Wait, does anyone have the clip on hand? I could search it. But if it's not, in the, is it in the past 30 days? I don't think it is anymore. Nah, I don't know. I could look for it, because I don't really know now. Don't mention reverse if you ain't going to play it. <sighs> Ooh, one's in the chat if you like reverse. Okay, guys, rate reverse at a 10, one being the lowest. Wow, AC hit that much? Holy shit, Crimson. Wow. Oh my god, Rain. Kirby. Jesus, guys. Go easy on the game. Oh my god. Jesus. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, hours. I'm going to search in the search bar. All right. Next. Hours. Oh no, the control F isn't working. It's only showing me one result. All right, I can't find it. If you guys do find it, you can link it in the chat and we can take a peek. Do I have any world records right now? I fucking hope not because I haven't sp speed ran seriously in like, besides new games in like three years. Okay. I am checking again, actually. Told him to check out your hours. No, that's not the one. Yeah, I don't know. I can't find it. All right. If there's a world record worth having, you've lost it in like a month. Uh, or I shouldn't say worth having, but... Good world records don't last long. I should go for Ari. Hey, someone on Twitter multiple times tweeted at me. They said they, they're dead serious. They have a $100 bounty on the Ari to remake Claire A world record. I was think, you know, I'm, I'm tempted. Tempted. That would only be like, that would only take like 3,000 hours. And if you do the calculations, what's 3,000 divided by 100? How many cents per hour would I be making on that? It, it's, it blows my mind how many people out there don't understand how hard a record is to get. Hundred dollars for the RET remake record. For those that don't know, the RET remake world record holder has like 5k hours in the game. And I've played the game a lot. Guess what? I have 600 hours. I, maybe 700? And that's in the whole game. Alright. Like, if you, if we were being dead serious and someone was going to put a bounty on the RET Remake Claire A record, it would have to be like 10,000 to, not for me. I would not, I don't fucking care how, I, I'm at the point in my life where I will not trade my mental health for money, ever. <laughs> like, I don't care how much it is. But for a sane person to attempt the Claire A world record from zero to getting the record, like hasn't ran the game to getting the record, that'd be like 50,000 minimum. That would take an entire year. That would take years or like 
multiple years of eight hours a day every single day probably I mean we for just just because I like talking about this topic think of uh, like Ray and Orch grinding RE4 right now or Ray stopped I think but are they they're amazing runners are, are they close to the record and by close I mean like when you're a minute away from a record as good as RE4's when you're a minute away like let's say you get to that minute then you still have like hundreds of hours to go you you just reach that point where it becomes brutally hard you've surpassed the like really hard now you're in the brutally hard territory and how close are they? And they've been grinding the game day in, or I mean, I know Orch has. Ray did too for a little bit, but Orch has been grinding that day in, day out for a long time now. And it's just, it, that's how hard it is. And not only is he a really fucking good speedrunner, but he's a really fucking good Resident Evil speedrunner. So those two things combined, and still it's really hard for him. Yeah, people underestimate how hard a record is to get. This PB is 125. What is the record for RE4 now? RE4 speedrun. It is... Uh, 119. It's and good to see you're still among the living. <laughs> Whoa! Dude. And those like the robots from uh, Austin Powers. Bum bum. What are you doing? Yeah, I was just testing. Man, or auto is not good for dogs. Quick shooting is great for dogs. With all that being said though guys, don't worry, I will run RE4 Remake 100%. But this time with RE4 Remake, I've already decided, I've told you guys many times too, I'm I'm not going to just run the game and quit the game. I want to do all the challenges. I want to do no damage, I want to do some create like knife only, pistol only, yada yada yada. I want to do the whole nine yards of that game. You might be able to go out this door in the rando. Nah. You, you faking? Faking, bro? Well, I, yeah, I just have some regrets about RE2. Or, or, sorry, I have a, some regrets about RE2 Remake. That's why I say this. Like, there's some challenges I did in RE2 Remake that... This is no way bragging, okay? I'm I'm a stupid fucking bad boomer gamer now. But I did some things in RE2 Remake that for me, I was like, oh, that was easy. And I thought it was so easy that I didn't bother putting it up on YouTube. And then I checked YouTube later on and those same things like getting cat ears. There are videos on YouTube that have millions of views that are like, I got cat ears or how to get cat ears. And it's just like, wait, I think I was literally the first person on the entire planet to get cat ears. I didn't put up the video because it's like, oh, that was easy. Uh, why bother putting up the video? Little did I know. So with RE4, I definitely will make sure we cover all the bases of that game. <laughs> 
and and put up the content as opposed to just do everything in the game in day one and not even upload any of it. I'll upload all of it. they will have it forever. Oops. Yeah, LA. Yeah, Dan Mumford's awesome. Oh, you mean the poster? Yeah, I didn't... The, the RE1 one was sold out, I think. I can't go back in there. Wait, it's bugged. By the way, for those who don't know, the cat ears thing is... We can still go in this door, I think. Have to... Um... The cat ears thing was doing the... The gas station challenge. Um, with just your pistol. Or like shoot no more than 200 pistol rounds or whatever it was. Thank you, Serpent, for the five kitted subs. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ah, I wish he was here. That cutscene would have been sick. Yo, thank you again, Serpent, for the five kitted subs. Let's go. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Look, we're back. Back in the lab. Is this unlocked? No. Okay, we can use that. Naked zombies! Alright, so we have the club key. Ugh. Where'd it go? Well, I gotta try the Claire A rando too. But Claire A works, right? I think. So we don't need to go over there. Oh no, yes we do. If we find if we get the red umbrella card, we could go over there. So I, I got too lost in talking about other stuff. Now I'm like a little confused. But I'm pretty sure the club key door is around here somewhere. I can't remember what's over there. I don't think it's useful. Yo platinum. Okay, this is where the segment started. This is good. Okay, okay. So, we don't need this. This didn't discard for some reason. Uh, we can take this, and then we can take... Uh... Save it. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, back. Boon? Thank you again, Serpent. Thank you, Sleepy Sobble, Ghost Pirate, and Torgo. Thank you. Fully loaded Magnum. Okay, the pistol's stronger than people think. The PC port's the best version, in my opinion. 
Well, it looks and sounds the best, and it's the fastest. Here it is. What? Wait. Well, I have two club keys. I suppose I could try the other one. Is that what it says? Lock from the other side? We did beat... Well, we beat Pokemon, but there's more to there's more to do. I'm gonna play Pokemon most of the stream today. Again. Thank you, Based for the 74. Thank you, sir. Will either key work? Yeah, I think I might uh, do shiny hunting and also I might try and make a comp team. I don't- I'm not gonna complete the Pokedex. I've changed my mind. Um, that's not worth it at all. As, as I said, or I, you know, I was saying the other day, uh, or yesterday, I was like, it's probably not worth- You could probably catch every single shiny you want to catch in the entire game before you can even get the shiny term. But, you either need to know people, which privilege, but still, you need the shinies from Violet. So I would need to get the other game. I would need to go get Violet and beat that too. Like speedrun Violet. Like you have to. Um, or, or if you find people in your chat that want to give you the legendaries from their copy. Sure. But. But yeah, my goals with Pokemon now are I want to beat the rest of the game because you can re-challenge all the gym leaders and stuff. And then um, maybe I'll try the comp. You can queue for competitive, I think, like solo queue, right? Um, so I might try to make a comp team, do a few rounds, see what happens. And get my team of shinies, obviously. Because we can't queue for comp until we have the team of shinies. And thankfully, most of the uh, Pokemon I want to use are really good right now in competitive. Like Scizor is one of the best and um, what's it called? Uh oh, we beat it. We beat it. We beat it. We beat it. minutes until detonation you can get perfect ivs without breeding now you just need something called bottle caps look at how good the pistol is watch music no 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 the true combo the true combo we want him to jump on the wall no not up there well up there is fine actually not good There we go.
Well, okay, do I like the design and remake of OG more? Uh, when you're, if, if you're comparing this boss to Claire a, or Claire's final boss, Claire A, um, I mean, I love shooting the eyeballs in Claire A uh, for her final boss. It's fun. I think it's a really fun boss fight, and you can overcome it with skill pretty easily. And also, um, but a negative about that fight is I hate that you can't use explosive weapons. Like, I hate that you can't use your grenade launcher because it's garbage versus that boss. Um, like, the only really viable thing is your knife, grenades, and the minigun. Uh, and I guess maybe the... I don't know what else. But in this one, I think the design is really cool. Like, I love Dog Birkin. It's really, really cool. But it's an insanely cheap boss fight. Like, like in your casual playthrough, it doesn't matter how good at this game you are, like, your first time you play it, you're probably gonna die here because this boss is just really fucking cheap. Like, even as someone that's played the game a million times, like... If he jumps on you, and your and your health is low enough, and then he does that attack instantly after that grabs you, in most cases you're dead. Especially on the American version, because you have less health. So he jumps up, lands on you, you take damage, and then instantly before you can even open your paws menu, you're already in a grab and he bites you. It's brutal. Or, he can, he can do the jump where he jumps on the wall, and then jumps off, and you can just run under him. Or, don't even run at all, and just shoot him. GG though, G jizzles out, yeah! Stay down! Stay down! Are you okay? I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Fine. No. I have to find my brother. We have to find my brother, everyone. This is just the beginning. But I think he still has my PS5 and he's playing uh, God of War. Goodbye. Nina. I'm putting in all points bullets and on my brother, Jimbus Christ Jr. We need to get my PS5 back. Thank you, Ollie, for the gifted sub. You know, because you've all been good little boys and girls. S rank? I I drank one too many first aid sprays. But in my defense, I drank them to clear my inventory space. Underrated song. <laughs> 